September 12th, 2021. Welcome to another edition of Comedic Gig News of the Week, where I tell you notable gig news from around the country and the world. And I'm your host, Val Dostad. First, the comment of the week. Dasher Pass commented on my Deliver That Ride Along video stating that the fact you had to prove your wife wasn't in the car is too much. It's both hilariously funny yet sad at the same time. My response, you don't know how many conspiracy people that will think things are a lie or fake, Dash. I prove and show everything. Some people just think everything is fake news in this world. Thanks, Dash, for the comment, and go check out her channel. She deep dives into topics that gives further insight into these apps that make you think and are good discussion topics. We got a gig app trifecta, folks. Not one, two, but all three apps are being targeted by New York City on capping delivery fees on restaurants at 15%. Grubhub, DoorDash, and Uber Eats are now suing for the right to price gouge restaurants. Hey, it's the capitalist way. How dare they try and help restaurants out instead of the corporations, taking bets on which side will win. To be honest, I'm surprised that DoorDash hasn't gotten into the gambling business. Wait a second. They have, with drivers taking offers without disclosing full pay. Grubhub is facing securities fraud on their expansion strategy. They lost their bid to throw out accusations it misled investors about the success of its marketing and expansion initiatives after a federal judge in Illinois found the allegations sufficient to move forward. Investors say the food delivery platform misled them about the quality of new app users, Grubhub's restaurant density, and the success of its partnered business model. When it comes to the word misleading, it seems like food delivery corporations should have their pictures right next to the definition of misled. It is all they seem to do when it comes to their investors, customers, restaurants, and drivers. Aw, is that a puppy on DoorDash news this week? That's right, folks. DoorDash is premiering a puppy filled campaign for their Dash Pass subscription service. They partnered up with Anheuser-Busch for an exclusive offer on Bush Dog Brew. Spuds McKenzie would be turning over in her grave. That's right, Spuds was a girl. Google it. DoorDash spending millions on advertising instead of investing it on the people that make them their money. Typical. Female Uber drivers are now being targeted in Kansas City, Missouri, not Kansas. Yeah, it can get confusing, right, Pedro? They are being tased and scammed on their rides, and police reports have been filed. Yet the company does not allow personal protection like firearms, if you didn't know. Uber prohibits riders and their guests, as well as driver and delivery partners, from carrying firearms of any kind while using the app to the extent permitted by applicable law. Please note that the only situation where we would allow a firearm while using the app is if you are transporting your firearm in accordance with the Transportation Security Administration's rules for transporting firearms and ammunition. That means your firearm must be unloaded and locked in a hard-sided container in the trunk of the vehicle. All parts, including magazines, clips, ammunition, and bolts, and firing pins must also be transported in the trunk of the vehicle. So pretty much the only situation this would be helpful is if the driver yelled, time out, the aggressor stopped, then allowed you to get to your trunk, unlock the gun safe, pull out the gun, load ammo into the gun, lock and load it, then allow you to aim it at them. This sounds like a game of red light, green light to me. Have fun being assaulted, rideshare drivers. Now Uber Lyft drivers are in the news, but this time for legal reasons. They can get sued in Texas for driving passengers to their destinations, specifically to abortion clinics. 
I thought we all had the freedom to not wear masks or take the vaccines based on what the conservative right is saying, but now drivers can't drive to abortion clinics to take a passenger there? This country is so screwed right now. Instacart is putting less importance on grocery delivery because of declining sales numbers. Now they are going into the world of digital advertising. The nine-year-old digital grocery store, which helped shift shoppers from supermarket aisles to smartphones, now is making a push into selling online advertising. It is hiring veterans from Facebook and developing platforms for video and other services aiming to tap a multi-billion dollar digital advertising business that also is being pursued by Walmart and Kroger. Some of its biggest customers. Good Lord, people. Now we're going to be even more inundated with ads, not only from Google, Facebook, Amazon, Yahoo, and YouTube. Thanks for not skipping the ads before this video, by the way, wink, wink, but Instacart as well. Heaven help us. And finally, the WTF moment of the week. DoorDash regains the WTF spot for the week, folks. A DoorDash driver is now the prime suspect of almost 20 arson cases in Lynchburg, Virginia. Why, you ask? Because police and fire investigators tied the fires to DoorDash deliveries as the common denominator. They used the DoorDash app and the phone GPS to tie this genius for these fires and crimes. Ugh, this has got to be the stupidest criminal alive. Why in the heck would you take a smartphone with you when committing a crime while doing DoorDash? This is like screaming, here I am while I start a fire here and here and here and don't forget here. It is like this guy was shooting the bat signal into the night, screaming, watch me do this dastardly deed. And I would have gotten away with it if it weren't those meddling apps while I was on the job. Sick em, Scoob. That's our show for this week. See you next Sunday. V out. Oh, and don't forget to like and subscribe.